Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian. This is Thomas and Tato here from Remedy Entertainment to talk about ray tracing and how that's going to impact the future of gaming. So you guys over at Remedy are known for these cinematic action style games. Quantum Break, Alan Wake, these games that are long being fast paced and fun, also beautifully cinematic to look at. And now with ray tracing being unveiled here at GDC, what does that mean for the kind of games you guys make? Well, obviously, it's still, you know, it's it's early days, right? But ray tracing has been that holy grail. And, you know, it'll just enable us to make really even better looking games, get more sort of visual fidelity, and definitely Remedy is known for sort of really pushing the technological envelope and having really, really good graphics. Let's not forget about gameplay, of course, but we do like to push the graphics a lot, so it's definitely very exciting for us. You guys are a developer that we've partnered with already early to show off this ray tracing tech, and you've actually produced a short demonstration showing off real-time ray tracing. Can you tell me a bit about what went into making that and what it really shows off? Yeah, so it's early days uh, and we are uh, experimenting with different kind of lighting algorithms. Quantum Break and Alan Wake and Max Payne has had lots of research put into lighting stuff. So this is kind of natural continuation for all the different things that we've been doing. So in the demo we had reflections and diffuse global illumination and then also some shadow work. As a developer, compared to the old techniques of rasterization, do you see the difference right away? What does that really stand out to you when you're watching this new ray tracing in action? Well, the biggest change is, of course, that you can actually do non-coherent rays, and you can actually get detail that's not possible, basically, with the rasterization algorithms. We have really good representations for like low-frequency stuff, so you can represent lighting on, on like meter level. We know how to do big areas of light, but it's really hard to actually solve a problem of having detail. So ray tracing is definitely interesting in that sense that you can actually add detail. So Thomas, as you mentioned, Remedy Entertainment games are not just pretty to look at, but they also have interesting gameplay, like the flashlight mechanic in Alan Wake. In fact, that's a game that played with light a lot. Do you think that this new visual style can actually impact some of the future games you guys put out as well? Like you said, the light in Alan Wake was a big thing. In Quantum Break, we played around with how time breaks down and those sorts of things. So definitely, like the tech does come into play. So uh, let's see. Uh, it'll be a very uh, interesting next couple of years for Remedy. Let me let me put it that way. Uh, I think we're definitely working on like the best games we we've ever done. Cryptic and mysterious. I like it. Thank you guys so much for coming by, talking to us, and showing off really what ray tracing can do with a really impressive demo. You guys, thank you so much for coming in and tuning into GeForce here at GDC. We'll have plenty more coverage. So subscribe and watch more coming your way.